Good day everybody, Duckville here, got another replay from the Vroom 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 tournament hosted up in Brisbane at the Vroom 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 offices. Of course, uh, thank you very much to the guys there for uh, hosting the event, it was a whole lot of fun. You've of course seen some of the other VODs on the channel. This is one of the games that was actually from the grand final matchup between a certain Terran and a certain Zerg that we had there who were great, a lot of fun to talk to and these guys played really well throughout the tournament. Starting down at the bottom right hand side of Ohana. In the red is our uh, Terran Wet Tau. His opponent up in the top left hand side talking about chips. The, those chips were I, I believe pretty good. I didn't actually have any but uh, everyone else had some and said they were pretty good. Uh, is our Teal Zerg NXC. So both these guys of course from the C region. You had to be a C player to actually get to the tournament considering it was in Australia. Um, but uh, And both of them I'm pretty sure or as I understand uh, High Masters or GM level over on C, so it was pretty good stuff to see these guys playing it out, and uh, yeah, this was a best of seven grand final, I'm, I've got this one VOD, I might do another replay after, I sort of pressed for time at the moment unfortunately, but uh, I'll try and get another one out if I can, uh, but uh, yeah, it was a really, really good tournament, and uh, recommend having a look at the, uh, there is a Facebook page, I'll post it in the description, which uh, links to also a blog as well, which sort of described what it was like, we're having a uh, small business running a StarCraft tournament, which is always beneficial, I would say, uh, but uh, yeah, let's get into the StarCraft, Wet Tower starting out with uh, everything very, pretty standard from here, it looks as if he is going to get a pretty quick expansion going up, up NXZ to scouting around the map, making sure that uh, his uh, overlord is checking out what's going on. This is actually a point, no joke, um, in the, as you can see, they're sort of talking about how the casting was too loud. That was actually me and Odzi. Oh, shout out to Odzi, who is a uh, absolute badass co-caster on the day. We had to actually sort of, uh, just because of the way it was set up, we actually had uh, the casters pretty close to where the players were, and unfortunately, uh, everything wasn't totally soundproof at the time, but we fixed that up right about now. Um, anyway, so game going on, as we can see, no gases here from Wet Tau. Uh, he's obviously going to go for that one Rax expand. Looks like uh, Wet Tau almost calling out that Overlord here. He can actually see it on his uh, on his map. There we go, does find the Overlord. The Marine probably not going to be able to kill this Overlord before it gets away. They obviously have uh, quite a bit of HP here. They've got 200, obviously, uh, and a second Marine coming down. Not going to be able to get it because there's this little sweet spot right about here where the Marines are not going to catch it, and no he doesn't, so uh, Overlord gets away, second Overlord still just uh, running out on the map, just trying to see what he can get done, expansion going up here for NXC, just trying to see if there was any sort of pressure coming on, of course this Overlord here to scout out if there are any sort of uh, bunkers that are going to go down, and it always got to be prepared for that sort of thing, so um, Tau going behind this, he's getting his uh, double gas up pretty quickly here, waiting for any extra racks to come up, and uh, NXC actually finding a lone SCV, will this guy escape? I don't know if you will. Instead, going to trade a Marine for that SCV. Does kill the Marine and the SCV. Where is he gone? He's actually hanging out here in the corner here while the front door closed. So, uh, NXC doing a little bit of damage there, getting one of those Marines. But three Marines out of the map at the Watchtower, holding up the Lings and will force them to back off for the moment. So, uh, just a little bit of pressure there from uh, NXC doing what he can to uh, try and just hold up the quick expansion from Wet Tau. His own expansion just uh, almost done here, got a little bit to go, a second queen is uh, already done and on her way down to the natural, the creep tumor already started here, we'll probably, are we going to have a second creep tumor, nope, she's actually just heading down to make sure that there is some good defense here, waiting to see if uh, perhaps NXZ will get a, another queen started, but Wet Tau going with this extremely fast third command center, of course a very popular build on the Korean server at the moment, to see players uh, just sort of I think it's part of a, uh, a little bit of a thing where players have just decided, all right, I can't really do too much damage with that, uh, with the normal, what used to be normal, the reacted Hellion build, you normally get in, do, do some kills with that, get some good map control, what I'm going to do, take a quick third command center and get a lot of SCVs out and uh, just sort of be able to keep up on a macro scale, but uh, Factory also going down, double eBay here as well, we'll probably see some sort of bio attack uh, at some point very soon, but a lot of lings out here from NXZ, what is he going to do with this? 
Chris, he's trying to get some pressure going, I think, trying to get through before the bunker completes. Bunker does finish up, though, but if he can get us around, maybe get inside the main. No, he doesn't get in the main, but he is going to do some damage to the main here and getting inside the natural expansion mineral line as well, getting a couple of SCV kills and uh, just being generally very annoying right now. Uh, I'm not sure how much uh, more further damage he's going to get, but uh, the command center lifting up now with the supply depot under attack. All the while, NXT is getting his third base, so don't think this is some sort of crazy all-in from him. The Marines now jumping out of the bunker finally, just trying to get uh, a couple of kills here if they can, at least to, to just get rid of them out of the base, and they do finally push them out, and the Lynx retreat, not a bad little victory there for NXE, getting five worker kills here, uh, so he's looking pretty good at the moment. We'll have a look at the worker count, uh, worker count sitting at 37 for NXE, so not too bad at all. And a tech lab also going down on the starport. So, uh, looks as if we are going to have some uh, some further pressure here. We've got a reactor on that factory as well. I'm not sure if that's going to be... Yes, it is. It's going to be for some Hellions. We may see a push here. I'm trying to just sort of figure out when that'll be. But uh, NXC got to be prepared. He's got some upgrades coming along in those Evo chambers very soon, no doubt. Where is uh, some sort of extra defensive measures? He doesn't actually have any sort of... Uh, spine crawlers or anything like that, but he does have a lot of links. So he knows that uh, his opponent with that very quick expansion is going to have a, a sort of minimal offensive capability at the moment, but uh, he's going to... Um, <laughs> trying to kill off some supply depots, but... Um, He's, he's not going to have too much to defend against. A couple of Hellions now coming across the map. As we can see, they're not going to get too much done at all because there is going to be a lot of creep spread here. As we can see, two tumors already going out on the map. A third is uh, going to get started soon, no doubt. But a drone trying to escape. Yeah, went to try and get inside as an uh, as an extractor, but didn't get too far. The Queen also out now with a huge five range, is able to push back those two Hellions. And now, as we can see, Mule's dropping in for Wet Tower, so he's just trying to get that economy going here with these uh, with the extra command center, really boosting up his mineral income. And Cloak and Banshees are also on the way. So we've got one out already. Is going to get a second, perhaps even a third. Marines slowly trip trickling out of course there aren't actually too many uh, of those uh, of the racks so he's not going to be able to get a huge amount out but uh, good to see the eBay is uh, just churning out those upgrades for the moment so uh, wet towel just making sure that he will have a good amount of upgrades here and I think he's going to go for a particular push there once the 1-1 one -one completes and he's got a couple of banshees and he's able to do some pressure here uh, but is an NXE going to be prepared he's got a lot of drones out he's really droned up quite hard uh, almost getting to that nice point for uh, three bases here He's at uh, 60 at the moment. Where is he going to catch out? The Hellions, he does. Gets rid of three. Is he going to catch the rest? He's got two at a minimum. Banshee's coming along, obviously slowly killing the uh, Lings, but the Lings, the majority of them should be able to escape unless they decide to hang out here and check out the scenery. But the Banshees are uh, just uh, going to head across, finally getting across. There are going to be Spore Crawlers going up left, right, and center here. Three at this third base for NXE. Three inside the natural, and also three at the main. He's definitely going to be prepared for double Banshees. The cloak is done, so he should probably cloak up very soon once he gets rid of this queen and uh, we'll be able to do a little bit of damage but of course with three spore crawlers he's going to have a lot of trouble actually trying to uh, penetrate into this base and do some more damage going to target down some of the drones if he can the queen meanwhile just microing back and forth a bit of dancing action going on between these two players wet towel trying to uh, stop the establishment of any further spores and uh, as long as he can keep those banshees alive he should be fine uh, but more racks going up back inside the main as we can see reactors all over the place no doubt this starport going to switch across and onto the reactor so we can get a few medivacs out and now wet towel getting some good damage here he's got uh, he's got 11 kills on one of these banshees eight on the other so he's certainly got a nice amount of kills here for the actual trade. In fact, the third batch is going to pop along as well and say hi and uh, just drop in, do some damage to the hatchery. Going to try and target down some of these spores if he can get them. Is he going to be able to? No, I don't think he is going to. Maybe should retreat for the time being and repair up, but we'll see what he's going to do. But uh, we're going to sort of brace for the uh, big Terran pressure very soon. Um, but uh, trying to macro up a little bit, as we can see, uh, feeling like he's in gold, apparently, is Wet Tower. Got uh, almost 2k minerals here. NXE switching across, getting a Spire up. He may try and get some uh, higher tech going very soon here. We do have the Roach Warren. We've got the Roach Speed also done. Missile Weapons and Carapace Level 2 are also on the way. 
and uh, it looks as if all this all this time Wet Towel is actually doing a nice amount of damage. He's actually doing a great job on his uh, on his supply count. He's up at 104 at the moment. He's just really boosting out those units as fast as possible. We've got uh, five racks in total, four of them with reactors. A tank is actually stuck here inside uh, the starport and the factory in this little. Uh, the reactor port there, uh, but more Banshees are going to come out, so uh, where are the extra Banshees that we had before? I think they've just sort of retreated for the moment, just clearing out the Zelnaga Watchtowers here, and going to move across and try and establish his third, so Wet Tower trying to keep himself up in that uh, in that economy race, but the uh, Zerg is uh, is actually still, he's actually a little bit behind just at the moment, just 10 workers behind is NXE, of course he's had to deal with these extremely annoying Banshees uh, for the majority of the time here, um, but uh, he should be able to take care of them pretty swiftly now. We do have a few muters out, and where are they? Where did they go? No? Okay, they're up here. My bad. Um, muters are just going to have a quick look and see what damage you can get done, but uh, NXC may look to try and capitalize on the fact that this third base doesn't have too much defense here, and the rocks have not been broken down, so reinforcement units are not going to be able to stream through into the third at all here, and Muters now just pushing across, going to have a field day on these supply depots, no defenses at all. Marines now coming across. They do not have stim. They do have combat shields, but no stim. And Banelings, just a few of them are going to morph in here. We got 32 Banelings now, I'm off again for NXC. He's got a lot of lings on the ground. No tanks at all. Where is that one tank that was stuck? There is one tank out at the moment. And uh, I think that Wet Town knows he's in big trouble. <laughs> and he doesn't even GG. Just says, let's remake and uh, tries to get out of the game. So that is going to be the end of that one. Uh, I am going to take this phone call and then I'll probably have a look at casting another game between these two from the grand final. I hope you enjoyed that one and I'll catch you all next time. Cheers.